Number three, indicate whether the following processes are spontaneous or non-spontaneous. And then we have letter C. So is the combustion of gasoline spontaneous or non-spontaneous? Well, let's see. Combustion, we've talked about that for, you know, a long time now, right? Combustion reactions is when you have hydrocarbons plus oxygen, which will release carbon dioxide and water. Now, specifically, we're talking about gasoline here. So when you go to the gas pump and you fill up, right, they always have an octane level, right? 86, 87, and I think 88, maybe 89. I have no idea. I just say regular. <laughs> but anyway, gasoline is, you know, one of the main parts of gasoline is octane. That's a hydrocarbon. It's C8H18. And we'll say that's a liquid, right? And this, with the addition of oxygen, gas, this will turn into CO2, gas, plus H2O, right? Water, water vapor. There's not like water, you know, spewing all over the place when combustion happens. I'm not going to balance this because that's not the point of this question. But is this reaction spontaneous or not spontaneous? Well, I wrote down what's going on over here. Spontaneous reactions occur without a continuous amount of energy from an external source. Source. If something is non-spontaneous, it occurs with continuous amount of energy from some outside source. So basically, this one's a little tricky because will gasoline just combust? Not really, right? Combustion, when we talk about combustion, we talk about making that fire right? And if you have gasoline just laying out, it's not going to produce that boom, that pop, that fire. There's something that you need, right? And you need a spark to, to get this going. So some might say, oh, well, here's the energy, right? Here's that external source. I need a spark in order to get this going. But this is where it gets a little tricky. Because the idea is that you need a continuous amount of energy to make it go. However, and don't try this at home, but when you put a spark, right, to the gasoline, the reaction is going to go, whoop. it's just, it's just going to go on its own. You had like an igniter, but this is not around for the whole long reaction. This spark is like the, you know, initiator, but there was no long, continuous amount of energy to make this reaction go. So, since, that the, since that's the case, we don't classify this as a continuous amount of energy. This is just kind of like, you know, what you need to start the reaction. But once the reaction goes, it's all natural. So this would be a spontaneous reaction. All because of the idea of that it is not a continuous amount of energy that is needed. It just needs, you know, something to start it, but then once it's started, you can't go back. All right? So hopefully this makes sense. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.